Hi and welcome to the next video podcast for GCSE PE and in today's video we're going to be looking at the cardiovascular system and what I'll encourage you to do anything that's underlined to make sure you're making notes that's really important to know and there are two main sections to this video and um, we're going to look at the effects of exercise on a cardiovascular system and the effects of lifestyle as well so hopefully by the end of this you will be able to name the effects of long-term exercise and the effects of lifestyle on your cardiovascular system and also a little bit deeper into that you'll be able to explain how the cardiovascular system is affected it's also important to remember that the cardiovascular system is built up of the heart the blood and the blood vessels so everything i'm talking about in this video is related to that and um, so for your exam you need to know these six main benefits of long-term exercise and when i talk about long-term exercise I'm not talking about what happens immediately when you exercise. I'm talking about if you were to exercise, going to gym every week or maybe playing football on a weekly basis, keeping yourself fit. If you are to do that, then the benefits to your cardiovascular system are on the board here. So if you exercise a lot, you will tend to have healthy arteries and veins, increased stroke volume, a decreased heart rate, reduced blood pressure, um, increased cardiac output, and a decreased heart recovery rate and you need to know those six terms so make a note of them i'm going to talk a little bit more about um, in detail those different benefits of long-term exercise right, so the first long term the effect of long-term exercise on the cardiovascular system is to your cardiac output now that is the amount of blood that your heart beats out in one beat so if you imagine your heart beating once it's the amount of blood that's pushed out so if you exercise a lot your stroke volume is going to be increased. So if you compare some, one of your friends who exercises a lot to somebody who doesn't, then they will beat up, pump out a lot more blood in one beat. Um, and stroke volume, that's just the amount of blood that is pumped out the heart in one minute. So if you were to get a bucket and fill it up with all the blood that's pumped out your heart within one minute, somebody who exercises a lot would have a lot more blood in their bucket than somebody who doesn't, okay? So make sure you know these definitions, but also make sure you know that long-term exercise increases the amount of blood that is pumped out and this is because basically if you imagine your heart when you exercise it it's, a, it's got a muscle a surrounding it and the stronger that muscle the more it's able to contract and the more blood it can pump out as well so the reason this happens is because of the increased strength of the heart muscle and um, because of this because of a healthier heart and a stronger heart you also get a decreased rest and heart rate if you're sitting down at rest, maybe watching the TV, if you've got a strong heart, it will beat a lot less within a minute because it is able to pump out more blood per beat. Also, you know, your recovery rate will increase. So when you start to exercise really quickly and then you suddenly stop, your heart rate will rec uh, decrease back to normal rest and heart rate a lot quicker than somebody who doesn't exercise. And again, that's because of the increased strength of your heart muscle, but also because of your blood vessels and your arteries and veins that are also a lot more efficient as well. Make sure you know those definitions and make sure you know how they're affected by long-term exercise. And another benefit is to your blood vessels and I'm talking about arteries, veins and capillaries. Um, for somebody who doesn't exercise a lot, they will have an increased amount of plaque in their blood vessels. So here's a clear artery and here's an artery that's got a lot of plaque in it. The more you exercise, the more you're able to get rid of this because it prevents blocking up of the blood. Um, the more you exercise as well, the stronger and more flexible your blood vessels can be. So your blood vessels, you might have an elastic band, a really good blood vessel is really elasticated so it can cope with large amounts of blood pumping through it. So the more you exercise, the more flexible and stronger your blood vessels are as well. Blood pressure though can be increased by things that are sort of out of our hands, age, stress and being tired. So it's important that we, we know these three things that can affect your blood pressure. Um, obviously with exercising, you've got all your blood capillaries and your arteries and veins and your cardiovascular system. By exercising more, you're going to develop more capillaries and capillaries are just basically attached to your muscles and the more you exercise, the more you've got of them. So the more capillaries you have, the quicker you can get blood to your work and muscles. If you just imagine it's like a network of tunnels and you're able to push more blood through them. And also it talks about just then, your blood vessels become a lot more flexible and can cope with 
a lot higher pressure of blood and a lot higher amounts of blood if you exercise. Right, so they are the benefits of long-term exercise. Make sure you, you know them and make sure you know why they affect the, all those different things. We're now going to move on to the negative effects of lifestyle on your cardiovascular system. So living a poor lifestyle can have a really bad effect on your cardiovascular system. These are the four things that can negatively affect it. Poor diet, recreational drugs, a sedentary lifestyle or lack of exercise, and also stress. Make sure you know those four key things that are affected by a poor lifestyle. Um, so high cholesterol, this is usually due to a poor diet and a lack of exercise. Um, when you eat unhealthy foods, you, can, you put a lot of cholesterol into your body. Exercising can reduce the amount that you've got in your body, but having a poor diet can actually increase it to really high and have a bad effect on your cardiovascular system. Cholesterol, all that is, it's just a fatty stuff, substance that is carried around your body through the blood and the blood vessels, and it's carried by something called lipoproteins. And there are two types of lipoproteins found in the body. There are good ones and bad ones. Um, Good lipoproteins are called high-density lipoproteins, or HDL for sure. So if they're floating around your body, they are a good uh, cholesterol to have. Low-density lipoproteins, LDLs, are bad cholesterol, and they can lead to things like um, coronary heart disease and heart failure because they actually lead to a buildup of plaque in your blood vessels. So it's important that when you're having a, a healthy diet that you take into consideration that you want to have some good, good cholesterol. Good cholesterol can be found in things like fruit and vegetables, and bad cholesterol can be found in things like bread, um, crisps, and all those sorts of things. So it's important that in order to have a healthy lifestyle that you have a good diet as well, and a poor lifestyle can lead to an increase in cholesterol which will clog up those blood vessels. Um, another thing that can have a negative effect on our cardiovascular system are recreational drugs. Recreational drugs are legal drugs such as cigarettes and alcohol. Um, cigarettes have nicotine in them and they can constrict the arteries so by smoking a lot you'll have a build-up of um, plaque within your blood vessels which again can clog them up as I talked about earlier and it can lead to heart attacks. Alcohol however, a glass of wine um, every other night can lead to a reduced blood pressure because it has a relaxing effect on the body however binge drinking and, lot and heavy um, drinking can have a negative effect and again can increase your cholesterol in your body. So recreational drugs can have a negative effect on your cardiovascular system. Um, another thing that can have a big effect on your arteries, veins, blood vessels is a sedentary lifestyle. And all that means is sedentary means still and that can just mean being lazy, basically not exercising. So if you don't exercise or you are sedentary, then that means you're not going to get all those benefits of having exercise in your lifestyle. So that can lead to a lot of things like an increased resting heart rate. Um, a decreased stroke volume, all those sorts of things that we talk about for increased blood pressure. So being lazy can actually have a really bad effect on your cardiovascular system. Um, another thing that has a bad effect on our cardiovascular system is stress. So when you get into your exam time, you're obviously going to feel very stressed, which will mean that your heart rate will increase. This heart rate increase on a long-term basis over time can build up and can actually increase the blood pressure on your cardiovascular system. So it's important to be relaxed, it's important to exercise because that can actually reduce stress too. And so in summary, we've looked at two topics in this video, um, lots of information. We first of all looked at the effects of long-term exercise on your um, cardiovascular system and they can be having healthy arteries and veins, increased stroke and cardiac output, decreased rest and heart rate, reduced recovery rate and a lower blood pressure and that's mainly due to the fact that you will have a stronger heart, your blood vessels will be a lot more flexible, you will have more capillaries, and you'll have less plaque building up in those blood vessels as well. Then we looked at the negative effects of lifestyle, and they can be due to a poor diet, having a high cholesterol, recreational drugs such as cigarettes and alcohol, a sedentary lifestyle, in other words, not exercising, and stress as well. And mainly, they affect your cardiovascular system because you have a weaker heart, you have lots of plaque, and high levels of low density lipoproteins as well. Make sure that you go back through the video, pause and rewind it as you need to. Make sure you know the effects of exercise and the effects of lifestyle on the cardiovascular system. But if you want to go a little bit deeper, make sure you understand why they affect the cardiovascular system.